This organic British Columbian malted barley is about to make a big name for itself. It's being transformed into Canada's first organic single malt whiskey, a process that is both a science and an art. Hey Tyler. Hi Heather, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well, thanks. The uh, Pemberton Distillery, I finally made it. Yeah, it's great to have you here. You ready to taste some whiskey? I am, absolutely. Good, let's get to it. Okay. It is actually quite simple. There's three ingredients, which is water, malted barley, and yeast. So this is where it all begins? Yeah, this is this is the raw malted barley, and uh, it's it's been grown, harvested, and then gone through the entire malting process. The malt is the starch source, what really creates the alcohol while adding rich flavor. The whole kernels are ground into flour and conveyed into the kettle, where it will cook for about four hours. Then it's pumped into the fermenter. We'll add our yeast to it, and it spends about five days fermenting, and at the end of that we'll end up with what's pretty close to a beer, essentially, and it's about an eight and a half percent alcohol beer, and then it's on to distilling. Now this looks like a real science to it. Not that the, <laughs> not that the malt isn't and the cooking isn't, but it's just these machines. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, there, there, there's a bit of art mixed in with science here, but it, yeah, for sure, this is where the, the sort of heavy chemistry comes into the process. The distillation units, or stills, heat the liquid to a point where the alcohol boils off, rising into the columns and out through a condensing tower a process this master distiller keeps a close eye on. Scottish single malts go through the distillation process twice, then you play the waiting game. It goes into the oak cask, and Canada's the same in Scotland, where whiskey has to spend a minimum of three years in oak before it can be sold as an aged whiskey. I'm super happy with the way that the whiskey's turned out. It three-year-old is fairly young as far as single malts go, but it, I'm, I'm really happy with how far it's come along. The distillery has three batches from different years. All will taste slightly unique. 2010's is unpeated and smooth. The following years are more complex with a hint of smoke. It, um, it tastes fresh, it's very fresh, and you can taste the vanilla coming through. Yes, and I, I, I get some honey coming through as well. Honey. On, on the finish. Yeah. On the finish. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Yeah, exactly. After three long years, Shram is excited to share this unique Canadian spirit with the limited number that will be lucky enough to get a bottle from the first batch. You'll be part of a very limited few that have a bottle if you have it. Might be some bragging rights amongst your friends. <laughs> This master distiller will have the best bragging rights of all. He made it. From Pemberton, I'm Heather Butts for Shaw TV.